Okay guys, I'm back. We are gonna do some more super pacifist Mario memes. And speaking of that, I now have a counter for any uh, enemies that I accidentally kill in the bottom left. So hopefully I won't have to update that too much. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just continue off from last time. And I know we got to chapter two for last time. The mysterious handmaid Mimi disappeared in a bizarre explosion. What exactly was her plan? And why did she try to enslave Mario and friends? After the incident, Princess Peach noticed stairs going down. Here we go, she said. I wonder if Marley is down here, thought her heroes as they traded worried glances. The two solemnly made their way down, knowing there was no other path to follow. Alright, now I'll actually have to be, uh, somewhat pacifist. Because the previous two areas were not pacifist. The pure heart is near. I feel its tremor so much more strongly down here. Ah, uh, hooray! Whoopee! Thanks for coming to look for me! Beautiful, mysterious Merle, mistress of the house, it's me. So glad it's you, I see. So long I've waited for you. Your arrival is well past due. But we can't meet like this. Oh no, for something's amiss. An evil one is after me, and safe and sound I cannot be. In the basement do I dwell. Maze-like rooms are my cell. You will find me, I can tell. And if you do, take care. For your eyes may err, trust nothing, foul or fair. No, I cannot last. My power is fading fast. The distance is too vast. Are you ready to find me? Beware. If you do, rip. <laughs> okay. She's gone. Was that really Merle, you think? I wonder why she was warning us so much about finding her. Alright, well... We're gonna go explore down here in pure pacifist fashion. So, <laughs> hopefully... <clears throat> hopefully I don't kill any more enemies unintentionally in this part. Say that. Room one. Oh, God. <laughs> Room three. That probably goes back to just to room one, actually. What's here? Room two. Okay, I have to remember, like, the layout around here. Okay. And hopefully not kill stuff. I think I go up here. Oh, one of these things. Room four. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna try my hardest to not kill anything. Oh, 
Okay, this goes. Okay, that goes back there. Just trying to get, like, uh, my bearings. Wait a second, I actually need one of these. Okay. I see what to do. There we go. <laughs> That'll work. I don't think I've been Peach for this scene. Oh, thank you for the auto host Glothics. Ah, uh, yes, how very nice. Thanks for coming, thank you twice. Mysterious and so lovely, mistress of the house you see. It's me, Merlee. I shine on, such is my lot, a, a son to those fate to me brought. And I knew that soon I'd see you buzz on by, little bees. <laughs> I don't buy this. Hello there, Merle. We've come seeking the pure heart. Ah, uh, yes, of course, I know. The pure heart for Mario and Co. <laughs> for you, yes, I'll gladly part with that purest pure heart. Mm, but there is a wee fee. Yes, yes. Ten million rubies. Quite a bargain, you agree? So, folks, if you'd be dearest, sign this dotted line here, and it's yours, free and clear. No. <laughs> this is not the real Merle, in case you guys are wondering. This is Mimi. Spoilers. If you lack the rubies now, a smallish loan I could allow, you can work it off somehow. <laughs> No. Just sign here, my dear. Nope. <laughs> okay, here's what we'll do. I've got- have I got a deal for you? Sign up for a loan and boom! A free gift! Away with gloom! A super mega ultra shroom! Just sign here, my dear. Nope. <laughs> oh, fine, you bargain hard. I'll also throw in Breadward, a pixel made of oats and lard. <laughs> well... Really? <laughs> Is that a beta pixel? <laughs> anyway, isn't that so nice of me? I'm the best, don't you see? Here, dear. Sign and cheer. Nope. Nya! Idiots, the lot of you. Turning down such a coup. None of you have a clue. Here it is, your last shot. Sign right now on the dot. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice for my sake. This Merle is a total fake. Listen not, she is a snake. Yeah, she's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Me, 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 me. No point in trying to fool anyone now. Gee, looky here, the girl you thought was a handmaid or a Merle imposter. She's actually the faithful servant of Count Black, master impersonator Mimi. Golly, I was hoping we could sell this peacefully, but too bad. Oh, you want to make things ugly, huh? Well, that's super. Let's get ugly. Oh god. Here we go. True Mimi, come forth. Listen to this. Oh my god. <laughs> that's... That's a frighteningly realistic neck-snapping sound. <laughs> Mimi, you will never stop being creepy. Mimi, 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 Mimi. Eee! What is that thing? <laughs> Rated E for everyone, guys. Rated E for eternal nightmares. Please, my friends, beware. A barrier protects her there. In fact, it's everywhere. I think attacks may well be useless against such as she. Attacks won't work? Ugh. What shall we do? Me, 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 me. I must suggest you flee. Come and find the real me. I am hiding. Look and see. If you can, my magic may weaken her and win the day. Hurry, hurry. Don't delay. All right, let's let's avoid this creepy thing. Room five. Yeah, I know I need to go down here. 
Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Room six. I don't think I want to touch that thing. What's here? Oh god. Dude. Help me. <laughs> Help me, guys. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Room eight. Okay, I think I want Boomer here, actually. What's this way? Oh, one of these. Okay, that's good. Dude! Okay. I can finally get out of there now. Okay, let's just run. <laughs> Room seven. Okay, I think this is the right way. Ouch. Okay, let's get away from this creepy spider thing. <laughs> I don't need to kill these things at all. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh my god, get this thing away from me. Hey Gem Charmander, how are you? Gotta kill <laughs> Well... I'm gonna try not to kill things. <laughs> Basically. Okay, I know there's the stairs here. There are stairs hidden here. I'll make them visible. Okay, let's see. I think I want to switch to Slim here, actually. Maybe. Hey, Dart. Yes, I will. That's part of the fun of it. This is not the same as low level, by the way. I want to make that clear. Really, it says my batteries are low. Okay, I guess they are. Oh god. <laughs> Get that thing away from me. Okay, now we're in the boys' bathroom. <laughs> Whoa, hi hypocrites in the boys' bathroom. Oh god, Mimi's. Mimi has found me. Let's get out of here. <laughs> well, we've just we've just broken a convention, you guys. So let's be a girl in the girls' bathroom. I think Merle's in here somewhere. <laughs> Of course, she had to hide in the toilet. <laughs> Found me, the real Merle. I shine on such as my lot, a son to those fate to me brought. Also, a little note, there's a fly buzzing around here. You're really the real Merle? And you are hiding in a place like this? I'm afraid that Mimi freak was too robust and I too weak. The pure heart I quickly took and hid where she would never look. Hey, Ramus, how are you? But now you're here, hooray! This bad tide will turn today. Soon that awful Mimi pays. You and I can now join up to teach that tiny bratty pup a lesson. Now let's power up! Ooh, I don't think so. <laughs> how are you doing, Ramus? <laughs> Mimi! Mimi, 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 Mimi! <laughs> oh god. 
Yeah, that's one way. Stop pretending to be me. Everyone knows you're a Mimi. Come on, friends, attack. We can drive her back. What is this you talk about? You're the faker and a lout. Don't be fooled by her act. Get her now. Now, attack. It's me, the real Merly. No, it's me, the true Merly. <laughs> Look at us very closely. One of us has real beauty, and one of us is fake as can be. Oh, dang. What happens if you get the quiz wrong? I don't know. Oh, please, you make me gag. I am hot. No need to brag. <laughs> yeah. And you? Well, you're a hag. <laughs> Grr, what a fib maker. You're such a fake faker. Oh, now, come off it, dear. You're a dog from eye to ear, and your breath reeks, I fear. Big pig, chow cow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to hear that, dude, though. <laughs> this is going nowhere, see? Let's get- let's let them pick a Merli and sell it. Do you agree? <laughs> Sounds like a good thought, cuz I'm the real me, hot, and you really aren't, not. <laughs> Oh, how much you do amuse. You're a fake, you will lose. <laughs> you're fake, you stupid fake. We all know you're the snake. It's on, Con. <laughs> and now we have a quiz, a quiz show. It's the 66th annual That's My Merle Show. How are you folks doing? Let's get going. You're gonna ask these two release a total of five questions. Listen closely to those answers, because at the end, you gotta pick the real one. Oh, but that's not all. Pick wrong, and there could be some disastrous results. Now, for our first question... <laughs> I'm gonna pick some different questions from last... my last playthrough. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna go with the funny one here. What do you wash first? <laughs> Whew, this question is a little risque, folks. <laughs> yeah, gotta love that. <laughs> what is the first thing you wash in the bathtub? <laughs> Not that you should care, but I wash my bangs of hair. I start with the tile mold, and then the faucet's hot and cold. <laughs> Oh, very interesting. Now for the next question. When's your birthday? Let's make with the asking. Drum roll, please. When is your birthday? What day did I arrive? Oh yes, March, day 25. I bloomed in May. The 5th was the day. Oh, a Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> I see, interesting. <laughs> Oh, indeed, indeed. Time for another question. All right. What's the best smell? Okay, I'm trying to remember which ones I asked. Let's pick what's, what's the best food. Oh, a crucial question. What is your favorite food? Strawberries. Ooh, yummies. Tangerines, that's my scene. Well, what do you know? Next question, please. What guy is your type? I remember that one. Yeah, the casualty count counter. So I'm gonna... Because this playthrough is mainly for fun, like, I'm not gonna care too much of being true pacifist, and instead I'll make fun of every mistake I make, and every mistake I make will go there. <laughs> What's the best animal? What a cute question. What is your favorite kind of animal? A little bear cubby, just as cute as can be. An adorable little demon, all sweating and steaming. <laughs> oh, I think I, I think I know which one's the fake now. <laughs> now, time for our final question, folks. Excitement, which will it be?
I'm gonna go with what's the best smell. Hmm, this one is sort of off the beaten path. <laughs> what is your favorite smell? Fresh air, I swear. Old cheese, yes please. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well folks, those were all five questions. So, which one is the real Mer Merle? Search your minds. Let's have a guess. I do wonder what happens when you fail, but... For the sake of this playthrough, I'm just gonna pick the real one, which is on the left. Are you sure about that? Think good and hard, folks. Yep, I'm sure. Well, enough suspense. Let's see if the one you picked is the real Merle. A fateful moment, folks. I'm on pins and needles. Oh, Peach's expression right there. Ding! Right! <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to pick the wrong one, but yeah. <laughs> well, of course, obviously, nobody could copy me. No memes, just stupid heads. I'd mimic her perfectly, you know it. I guess I'll congratulate you by tearing you to little bits like stupid confetti. Well, we'll have a mean meme come chapter four at least, so. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, Mario is for kids, right? <laughs> I will cheer from over here. <laughs> Even Merle's disturbed by the neck twisting. Holy crap. <laughs> rah rah. Whoosh bing ba. Hit her in the knee. If she has one, does she? <laughs> She's a fast one, isn't she? Oh golly, well, whatever. I'll finish you off first. Me, 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 me. Okay, I'm gonna try using throw here. Oh yeah, you can grab these, nice. <laughs> but, what? Why can you damage me? I'm supposed to be all invincible! <laughs> Peach. <laughs> Just look at Peach. Kaleflex power was supposed to protect me! Ra ra, whoosh bing ba! You can now hit her, dear, for this is no normal cheer. This cheer is magic, woo! Her magic barrier is through. What? When did this happen? Eee! I feel completely naked! How could you? <laughs> oh, there's an innuendo, nice. Just to clarify, like, I can still... I can still, like, level up. As long as it doesn't involve... killing things. All right. And I'm only like level three at this point in the game. Hee <laughs> hee on you, dearie. Now you shall see the day a good cheer, the way a good cheer wins the day. All right. So far, so good. When's my next level up, anyway? I don't even remember. Have your stupid rubies. <laughs> Just a Zelda reference, if anything. Ow. Take this, Mimi. You freaky thing. <laughs> yes, yes, our team's best. Go team! I also find it creepy the way her legs, like, come off, too. That's a little bit disturbing for a game rated E. <laughs> 
Just saying. <laughs> Ow. All right, there we go. Mimi's done for. Mimi, -mi -mi how could you? It's impossible. How? <laughs> also, rip the memes. We'll have plenty of memes coming later. Don't worry. Er, 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 er. Don't think I've been beaten. You've beaten me for good, dummies. Next time, you won't be so lucky. Remember that, stupid heads. Er! Mimi will never stop being creepy, though. Fine job on that Mimi, yes. The pure heart's safe, evil's repressed. You know, the tenants here guarded it for 1,500 years, waiting for you to draw near. Finally, that duty's done, and I'm ecstatic for one. But wait, ere we finish up, I must tell you something, yup. So the light prognosticus was read by you, yes? It was written there that I and my ancestors waited by the pure heart s staying spry. But something wasn't written there, and of it you must be aware. There is another prophecy. A heart of chaos can only be beaten by four of mystery. And yes, I know who those four are. Four heroes unite, their hope burns forth light to shatter the walls of blight. That is how despair, it dies, such as what we prophesize here in the home of the wise. Four heroes. I am sure the pair of you, Mario and Peach, you two, are the first of heroes true. So then, it falls to you to find the other heroes too. I would guess, if I had to, the others might be known to you. And yes, they are. <laughs> now finally, let me be. I hereby do my sworn duty. There, from me it parts. Here, heroes, a pure heart. <laughs> Alright. That's pure heart number three. And I'm still level three. <laughs> Like, just to... Uh, not that tippy, though. She's not a real person. <laughs> well, I could mention a spoiler, but... <laughs> Camp Lex servant Mimi had laid a nasty trap for Mario and friends. But with the help of Burly, faith faithful defender of the pure heart, the day was won. But who were the other two heroes mentioned by Merle? With five pure hearts yet to be found, Mario knew this adventure had only begun. Yeah, sure, we'll save, why not? Yeah, Tippy's just a butterfly, right? Yeah, so I just got a brief memo from Mimi. It says, I messed up bad. That's the message in its entirety, yeah. Blah. <laughs> She failed to best him, even with my gift of power. A light prognosticus hero, descendants of this ancient tribe. Their strength grows. Count Black! I beg ya, give me the honor of wailing on this pack of nambly pamblies. I swear on me whiskers that I'll spank them like naughty little turbals, I will. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's actually kind of funny, because <laughs> turbos are butts. <laughs> oh, so, oh chunks, yeah, you think you're all set to go? So I guess you finished up that report on your own inadequacy that I needed. <laughs> oh wow, it, you see, I just got a wee bit left. I'm working on me conclusion. Yeah, of course he's writing an essay. You gotta give me a break. Me writing takes time, lass, and a thousand pages be a lot. <laughs> oh, Chunks, calm yourself. Take a minion timeout. Count Black will send. 
Dementio, come to me, Camp Black. And so I arrive, like a sudden windstorm at a kindergarten picnic. Blah. <laughs> You'd like some playtime, I imagine, Dementio. <laughs> yeah, because he is a musician, or like a magician. So you shall have it, but do not disappoint Count Black. Dispatch this hero. Your wish is my command. Besides, this fool sounds like an amusing challenge. Now if there is nothing else, I'll just be on my way. Ciao, my Count. Yeah, so, oh chunks can you fill me in on why you're still not writing that report? A report? What are you- Oh yeah. Alright, I'm going. You great beard tweaker. <laughs> oh, gotta love the writing in this game. Count, let me bring you up to speed on the current state of the castle. I still have to root out a few unconverted rogues, but I'll report back soon. Heroes, trying to save those pa these pathetic old worlds? Bleck, says Count Bleck. <laughs> Their efforts are in vain. No one can stop Count Black. Oops, you forgot your book. <laughs> Just as no one can ease the tempest that rages in my suffering heart. And of course I know what he's talking about. Because I finished this game before. And there's Luigi. Oh, my head. Hey, where am I? Oh yeah, now I remember. I was saving Princess Peach, but I screwed it up and... You wait, Green? Yeah, hey there, uh, bad guys. Are you doing alright? <laughs> yeah, we're doing okay. Good to see you made it. Figured he was done. Dude is tougher than he looks. So yeah, kinda awkward. Say, have you guys seen the princess and Bowser? Crawling in your skin. <laughs> nope, not so much. You're the only one we found lying around here. Hopefully they're both okay. Get a little of this moron. Who cares about his friend? Near as we can figure, most of the other minions got captured or something. And we're probably next. Why is this dude so calm? We're behind enemy lines. <laughs> so, Luigi, old buddy, what do you think about maybe getting out of here? We're thinking maybe you could open a path for us, and we all bail. What you think? <laughs> oh, he slipped. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, I... I couldn't possibly. I've got to save the princess. Man, wow. I did not expect that. All those stories about great Luigi's daring exploits. Poor Luigi. <laughs> Always overshadowed by Mario. We do to you were the defender of the helpless. We have no one else. <laughs> the great Luigi, you say? Uh, a daring defender? <laughs> Me? <laughs> Poor Luigi. Then I've got no choice. Luigi must spring to action. My fans need me. <laughs> yes, Luigi does have his own games. And he's a pretty awesome character in the Mario universe anyway. Oh, you are the best. Man, that was way too easy. What a sucker. We're right behind you. But the second we, the going gets rough, we bail. <laughs> then follow me, brave er Goombas. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, interesting. I realize I can't do- I can't actually do his, uh, super jump right now. That's kind of- it's kind of weird. What's up here? I know this is chapter 8, but... Dang. <laughs>
All right, let's go through here. I know this is pretty much story at this point. Also, this music's kind of creepy. So that's cool. This game's soundtrack stands out as being uh, one of the having some of the darkest Mario music ever. Where's that cutie peach? She'd be much easier on the eyes than this guy. <laughs> oh, so even the Goombas have a crush on Peach. Wow. So where's King Bowser? I wish he was here instead of the great dweeb here. <laughs> I know this is like the entrance. I think this is like near the entrance to Castle Black, if I remember right. Great Luigi, wait for us! <laughs> uh oh, looks like the end of the line here. Oh boy, looks like you're right. Now what do we do? Uh, shouldn't we look for another way out maybe? This guy's useless. <laughs> If we stay put, somebody is definitely going to spot... Gazort! Hail Black! <laughs> oh, Gary! No! <laughs> I love that, uh... The, the Goomba has a name. That's a nice touch. Gary the Goomba just got brainwashed. Mm-hmm. I've been looking all over for you. You! Yeah, you're that guy who really wasn't a team player back at the wedding. You're gonna need a little disciplinary action, I think. So let's get started, hmm? Oh man, poor Gary. <laughs> he only cares about Gary. Alright, it's time for me to Goomba up. Hey lady, got room for one more on your team? <laughs> Oh, wow. They don't- they're not cool enough for shades. <laughs> what? Hey, wait a second! What are you doing? <laughs> What's it look like, genius? I'm getting with the winning team! <laughs> Chaotic neutrals gotta represent, right? <laughs> yeah, good call. Love the enthusiasm there. Go ahead and swear your, you know, Undying loyalty to the account, and you're on board. Hey, count me in, lady. Here we go, count. Here we go. Love that count. You, you dirty traitor. <laughs> who, who knew that there was that this that this game, unlike most other Mario games, covers themes such as betrayal. Okay, guys, new agenda. Hold this fool down so I can get his priorities on track. Yes, ma'am. Ah! Whoa, whoa! Hey, no! Mario, where are you? Help! Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so here's another one of these scenes that I didn't understand first time through the game. You're late. Did something happen? Yes, my father caught me. Sneaking out of the castle wasn't easy after that. Wow, this is actually quite sad. If you've beaten the game before, that is. I was worried you wouldn't come. You're a strange girl. You know what I am, and yet you do not seem afraid. I don't care what you are. I just wanted to see you. Is that... is that so wrong? No, no, of course not. I wanted to see you too. Blue Mare, do you mind if I sit next to you? Please do, Timpani. Let's return to our conversation. I must know more of you. Yeah, so... <laughs> that scene is really cool after you beat the game and rewatch it. Oh ho, welcome back, friends. 
How was your journey this time? Did you find Merle and obtain the pure heart? Yes, as a matter of fact, we did. Merle said that we would need the power of four heroes to save the world. Yes, Merle said that. Oh-ho, is that so? There is more than one hero? Well, if Mario and Peach are two such heroes, then you still need two more. Oh god. <laughs> Look, over there. It got bigger. The void has grown. Hmm. I feel that our time grows short, dear friends. I will return to the light, Prognosticus. You young ones seek the next heart pillar. But first, allow me to tell you of something that mystical book has already divulged to me. One person will determine whether the light or dark Prognosticus predicts truly. Oh, nice. I remember this. Both books refer to him as the man in green, but I know not what this means. Well, I do. <laughs> it's Luigi, of course. I must return to my study to solve this conundrum. Okay, so... Let's jump off this time. Because why not, right? <laughs> there are a couple things I can do as well, like... Maybe cook a couple shroom shakes. Because it would be nice to do that with, I guess. Okay, maybe I'll sleep at the end too, why not? Okay, let's... Let's just heal a whole 6 HP. Yes, and I definitely am under leveled at this point in the game, which is fine. Like, look at this. I'm only level 3. <laughs> just like that. Already, I'm actually using Peach quite a lot more than in my blind playthrough of this game. How many things do I have to cook on me? Well, I might as well cook them, because I don't really see why not. Yep, here's the dining specializer. <laughs> Which is... It lo literally looks like... A Nintendo DS, pretty much. And I learned that in the 100% of this game, you actually need to get all the cooking discs and put them in there. Okay, let's just make... Let's just make a few sh fried sh shroom plates, I think. Why not, right? They do heal, like, a bit more HP, so it's worth it. Perhaps I'll use some of these items on the upcoming uh, fight against Bowser. <laughs> In chapter 3 as well. Okay. 
Okay, I have one more, so I'll just make one more. Of course, I also have the option of selling things for coins, too. Which isn't a bad idea. I'm trying to even remember where the heart pillar is, too. I know I have to blow that up eventually. So I might as well do so now. Let's see what these two people say. <laughs> early to bed and early to rise. <laughs> I'm asleep at noon at school. <laughs> oh wow, that's funny. <laughs> There's just so much humor in this game. That's... It's literally god tier stuff. Okay, so let's go find that heart pillar. So, fortunately I didn't... <laughs> I didn't kill any enemies in this part yet, so... I said yet. <laughs> So who knows, maybe I will kill a couple by accident. Okay, I'm just gonna go look for the next heart pillar. I think it's this way. I might actually want Peach here. So it's just in this pipe, I think. You have faith in me. Thanks, Ramus. <laughs> okay, I want to. I don't want to use Boomer because I could accidentally kill something if I'm not careful. I think that's where it is. Okay, nice. <laughs> At least I remember where most of the heart pillars are so far. Alright, good stuff. Okay, let's go this way. I know there are like a couple secrets down here too. Wait, why is that? Okay, it's weird that that's there. Okay, let's avoid these enemies, or try to at least. It's funny that most of the intention, like the unintentional casualties that I've had have been these kinds of enemies. Like, I've killed a Goomba by mistake, too. Well, a couple Goombas, actually. Okay, I want to use Peach here.
Okay, that's that's good. Oh, oops. <laughs> Sure, let's open the pit, but I won't- I won't really go down there. <laughs> Maybe I'll do like a bonus stream where I go down into the pit under leveled, who knows. I would con consider doing such a thing. Wait a second, wasn't there a pipe that I could open up down here too? I'm pretty sure there was. Oh yeah. <laughs> this guy s speaks very broken English. <laughs> Hundred coins is fine. Like I probably won't be needing too many coins with this playthrough. You are staying out of the way. Pacifist pit. <laughs> I think it's like pretty much impossible to do that. <laughs> I am going. <laughs> Just wow, that's funny. He speaks like Fawful. The same guy who says, I have fury and other such funny things. Okay, let's just save here, I guess. Because you know why not. Hopefully I don't kill any more enemies by mistake. But if I do, I'll have to raise that counter. <laughs> the best you can do is like an underleveled pit. Mario and his new friends open the door, unsure of what they would find. All the while, Merle's words about finding the other two heroes rang in their minds. Were these other heroes somewhere in this new world? If not, where? Meanwhile, the creeping void grew larger in the skies above Flipside. The hopes of all worlds rested on the heroes finding the next pure heart. And also this chapter is probably one of my favorite chapters in the game. <laughs> Just saying. Because it's got, like, this nice 8-bit art style. Plus lots of, uh... Really funny stuff. <laughs> so this is where that door leads. I suppose the next pure heart must be nearby. That's odd. I can feel it nearby, but where could it be? What could this mean? Well, I'm- Ah! <laughs> Hi, technical! I caught a super rare pixelated butterfly! <laughs> oh yeah, Fra Francis is awesome. Oh, Peach looks funny too. My friends at digibutter.nur are going to freak it when they get word of this find. I must bring it home. I can't miss this week's episode of the Grotus Chronicles. <laughs> No way am I going to entrust my digital recordimio to tape an episode so epic. <laughs> this is so high technical. <laughs> oh god. Francis is just so funny in this game. <laughs> Tippy? Well, well, what's this? Whoa ho ho, a kidnapping. Oh, the despair. The awful spectacle of it all. The shocking scene occurred right before my very own tender eyes. Well, I guess that's a wrap for that pixel. 
Now that that freak Francis has got her. You forgot about Francis. <laughs> He's hilarious. Whoa ho! Who's this guy? A friend of the butterfly girl that got kidnapped? Dude, I'm not a guy. <laughs> well, that's a pity. That geek that grabbed her? Francis. Basically the nerd to end all nerds. Plus, he's got this thing for butterflies, and well, all things nerdy, too. <laughs> if he gets his sweaty mitts on something he likes, there's no getting it back. He collects stuff and keeps it in his big fantasy fortress. It's like geek paradise. Dude, I want one. <laughs> Where is this fort, Francis? Well, if you go all the way down ahead for miles and miles, you'll find it. You're not thinking of infiltrating the nerd lair and rescuing her, are you? Look, nobody likes having their butterfly kidnapped by a geek, but it's dangerous. Still set on it, eh? What a tender moment. I think I just got something in my eye here. <laughs> oh yeah, like this game does at the very end. <laughs> Seriously, this game did make me cry at the very end. A bit. Listen. Let me give you some travel tips. You listening? Good. All I got for you is three critical tips, so remember all of them. Here's your first tip. A bunch of no-class jerks are ho holed up in this castle up ahead. It ain't gonna be easy getting past him, but here's the juice. It's an old castle. You do your thing with that red X mark, and maybe something will happen for you. Now for my second tip. If you somehow pass those clowns in the, in the castle, you'll see an ocean. Can't miss it. A scary sea monster lives there. The beast is huge and cranky. But if you toast its red, tent red flipper thing, something good is bound to happen. And here's the last tip. Once you swim your way through that ocean, you'll see a humongous tree. There's a huge gorge on the other side. There's no jumping across it. Look for the red wind and do something with it. Then you can get across. Get all that? Good. Now be you be careful now. If by some crazy chance you do save her, come back and tell me how you did it. And if you do come back, that guy, his name is Barry. He's actually a pixel. I will be coming back to get him just because it'll make me avoid some damage. Okay, speaking of avoiding stuff, we're gonna just go right over these enemies here. <laughs> okay, here I need Morio, cause... Well, I do need Morio here. What's through here? I don't remember. Let's go inside. Okay. It's probably not anything that I need to worry about. Okay guys, uh, sorry about that, had to mute my mic there, but apparently I have to cut stream, like, right now. I'm sorry, but that's what, it, that's what has to be done, so. Yeah, I'm, I need to cut stream right now. Sorry guys, I wish I could get farther today, but that's alright. So yeah, thankfully I didn't kill any enemies during this part, so... <laughs> Next time we'll, uh, fight Bowser, I guess. And yeah, see you guys later. I wish I could stream for a bit longer, but... No, I might stream a little bit more tomorrow. 
to make up for today, but see you guys later.